ADMT1B, ADMT6B, Operation Video. The standard configuration of the instrument includes host, winding frame, electrode rod, battery, manual and accessories. During assembly, the electrode rod is connected to the measuring line, corresponding to the four interfaces A, B, M and N of the host, and then connected to the battery. The two commonly used measurement methods of the instrument are quadruple sounding method and intermediate gradient method. The quadruple sounding method is used to determine the depth of the target after knowing the abnormal points. The intermediate gradient method is used for scanning measurement to determine whether there are abnormal reaction points in the target area. Measurement method of quadruple sounding method. First, Go to the site to be tested, pull the tape measure, and fix the abnormal point in the middle position. The measure depth is achieved by increasing the length of AB line. For example, if AB is 40 meters away, the data measured is 20 meters deep. If AB is 100 meters away, the data measured is 50 meters deep. Therefore, the length of the tape measure is determined according to the actual situation to facilitate positioning and marking. Create a survey file on the host, digitally name the survey line, and the default survey point increment is 1. Select quadruple sounding mode, and select manual for polar distance mode. After setting, move the cursor to the establishment file and click OK to enter the measurement page. Before each depth measurement, set the corresponding polar distance parameters. For the first measuring point, we take the depth of 20M as an example. Select the setting and enter the polar distance setting page. The value of AB slash 2 is the current depth. Set AB slash 2 equals 20. The value of MN slash 2 is one third of AB slash 2, which is calculated as an integer and set to 7. Click Finish to set the parameters of the first measuring point. Then insert the electrode rods into the corresponding points in the order of AM and B. Measure the depth of 20 meters. The distance of AB is 40M. The middle point is fixed. Walk 20 m to both ends respectively, and insert the AB electrode rod. Similarly, the value of MN is 1 slash 3 of AB the middle point is fixed. Walk 7 m to both ends and insert the MN electrode rod. After wiring, turn on the battery power and select the host measurement button. After the instrument is measured by positive supply, shut down supply. Reverse Supply, Shut Down Supply. You can get the data of the first depth and save it. Measure the second depth and repeat the above measurement steps. First set the polar distance data. Insert the electrode rod according to the corresponding point. Click the instrument to measure and save the data. By analogy, repeat the measurement steps to obtain the measurement data of each depth of the point. Measurement Method of Intermediate Gradient First, go to the site to be tested and pull the tape measure according to the actual needs. In this measurement method, the electrode AB is fixed, and the measurement electrode MN moves within 1 slash 3 of the middle of AB. And the MN pole can be measured on a parallel measuring line within the range of AB slash 6 away from the AB line. Create a survey file on the host, digitally name the survey line, and the default survey point increment is 1. Select Intermediate Gradient Node, Polar Distance Mode, Manual. After setting, move the cursor to the Establishment file and click OK to enter the measurement page. Before measuring each point, set the corresponding polar distance parameter. Select the setting and enter the polar distance setting page. Taking AB distance of 100M as an example, set AB slash 2 equals 50, 
and the distance of MN is generally a per mil 1 yen slash 50 to 1 slash 25 ab. Take MN as 1 slash 25 of AB and calculate MN slash 2 equals 2. O, X, and, O, Y, represent relative coordinates, that is, the middle point O of MN is the measuring point, AB is the X axis of the coordinate axis, and the Y axis data is the parallel distance between MN and AB survey line. When Y equals 0, it is the main survey line. When Y equals 1, it is the survey line 1 and parallel to AB survey line. After setting according to the actual situation, confirm and return to the measurement page. Then insert the electrode rods into the corresponding points of the parameters in the order of A, M and B. Turn on the battery power and select the host measurement button. After the instrument is measured by positive supply, shut down supply, reverse supply, Shut down supply. The first measurement data can be obtained, and the next point can be measured after saving. Moving the MN electrode equidistantly within 1 slash 3 of the middle of AB. Set the polar distance parameters. Click the measurement button to save the data. By analogy, Repeat the above measurement steps to obtain the data of the whole survey line if necessary. You can also parallel the main survey line for a certain distance and repeat the above measurement steps to obtain the data of a side survey line. After completing all survey tasks, export data and draw with professional software to analyze underground conditions. The operation steps are as follows. Plug in the USB drive, select the transmission file on the host. Enter the corresponding digital transmission file name, and confirm the transmission file. Matters needing attention. 1. If the survey site is small, you can use a tape measure. If the site is large, it is recommended to use GPS for positioning. 2. The deeper the measurement depth, the greater the battery voltage required. 3. The measured apparent polarizabilities M1 to M7 are generally decreasing. If there is any abnormality, it is recommended to check the problem and re-measure.